today we have with us uh, Vice Dean of uh, Yerevan State Medical University, Dr. Kachatur Margaria. So we are more than happy to welcome him to Sri Lanka to conduct uh, our entrance exams. So he's a uh, busy person these days and uh, he has come from 7,000 miles away and we are honored to have you here. Hi, Doctor. So first of all, we would like to know about uh, Republic of Armenia. So it's a few thousand years old nation which formed the Republic of Armenia uh, approximately 30 years ago. Before that, we were a part of uh, Soviet Union. And uh, it's a small country with uh, 3 million people population. Uh, our religion is uh, Christianity and it's a monoethnic, mostly monoethnic country. Uh, everybody says that it's safe and um, lots of hospitality there, but yeah, exactly. I think I, I think you need to come and check it for yeah, yourself. Definitely, definitely, I would like to come and visit. Uh, uh, so then, uh, what about the education industry, education sector, and the uh, Yerevan uh, State Medical University? So I am representing uh, Yerevan State Medical University after Mahita Heratsi, which is the only state university state medical university of our country. At the current moment, we have approximately 2,000 international students in our university from almost 35 countries all over the world. Right. And uh, we are really uh, grateful to uh, receive students also from Sri Lanka because they are really hardworking students, but I think we will talk about that later. Um, at the current moment in our university, we have a few faculties. Right now, I want just to introduce the general medicine faculty. So duration is six years. And at the end of education, we're issuing diploma of doctor, MD diploma, which is equal to well-known here in Sri Lanka MBBS degree. At the current moment, university has its own clinics three O1 clinics three of clinics. the university, but we are in a cooperation with all the hospitals and clinics in our country and sending students for their clinical education part also, also there. Uh, owning also a student dormitory, which is a safe and secure place for our students and most of our international students are staying in our dormitories, in our hostels and there we are providing 24 hours first aid point, uh, free breakfast, uh, also laundry and uh, all, all uh, services that is needed for the uh, safe stay and, uh, uh, and pleasure life. Pleasure right. student. Right. Thank you. Uh, now there is a war going in uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. So is there any impact or kind of a side effect for your country and your people and students there? No, actually, of course, war is not a good thing, but fortunately, our republic is out of this uh, out of this situation. So it hasn't touched our republic uh, and our country, and it's still safe and uh, without any single gunshot in the territory of Republic of Armenia because of that. Okay, but I heard there was a war sometime back, uh, or is it, what is the status of it? Two years ago, uh, it, was, uh, it was a war between Armenia and Azerbaijan, but uh, formally it's not a war between Armenia and Azerbaijan because in territory of Republic of Armenia, there wasn't any um, any military uh, actions. Why? Because uh, almost 30 years ago, while all the countries got an independence from Soviet Union, there was a small piece of land uh, lived with the Armenians. It's called Nagorno-Karabakh. And two years ago, I think that many of people heard about that war. It was a war about and for Nagorno-Karabakh territory, which is formally out of the territory of Republic of Armenia. But of course, Armenia is a 
guarantee of the secure life and safety of those people who are living in Nagorno-Karabakh. That's why we have been involved, because they are the same nation as we, and we are supporting our brothers and sisters. But Armenia is out of the war now. All this conflict is finished. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's Thank you, because we want to understand the real situation of the country and the security. So, how about uh, the uh, core structure and uh, you know, man, medical program? We have the internship, uh, or how we are going to? So, the course structure: first two and a half years of education. We have the theoretical uh, subjects to provide to our students. So they're going to be prepared for entering uh, to the clinics. The other continuation of their medical education is mostly in the hospitals. So the clinical departments are located in the famous and uh, known hospitals of Armenia. So students are moving there group by group and spending their time there. Also, there is a small change that we are implemented because of the World Federation of Medical Education's accreditation, which we have already applied, and we are keeping hope that at the end of next year we will formally get that uh, accreditation, which will say is that uh, it is world uh, world no one way of education. Right now, we are in the list of. Uh, Lots of international organizations uh, which are responsible for medical education. So all our listen, listeners can check uh, those lists by themselves. It is extremely proudly for me to say that we are also recognized by Sri Lankan Medical Council. Yes, that's right. uh, and uh, we got the accreditation in 2018 and uh, still we are accrediting and uh, hosting, uh, officially hosting students from uh, Republic of Sri Lanka. Why do I am underlining this, this issue? Because of, uh, that's mean for students that after finishing, after graduating here at State Medical University, their diploma will be acceptable for uh, Sri Lankan Medical Council and Sri Lankan government. Uh, I think that this is this is an important issue uh, for for cooperation between our university and your republic, and it is an important thing for those students who want to travel back to Sri Lanka and smoothly continue their medical service to work in a medical service in their own country. Uh, doctor. Uh in other countries, there are students are going for Belarus, Russia, China for medicine studies. Uh, but in those countries, after being graduated, they cannot work. So what's the situation in Armenia? Can our students work in Armenia after graduation? Uh, actually, I'm responsible to answering on behalf of our universities. So let me not to comment for the other universities. Maybe you will know better. but. In our country, when students are graduating their six-year education, they have a work permission in our country to work in the specific fields of uh, medical service in our country. So, for example, they can work as a doctor of emergency service. But if they want to get the neurospecialization and to work as, uh, for example, as a cardiac surgeon, okay, they need to go to the residency also and uh, I know that there is there are a few questions about an internship uh, which we provide we provide two types of internship one is after six years of education so the formal part and uh, it's a part of postgraduate education but fortunately due to the changes that international community of medical education uh, requires, we have also implemented an integrated internship in our six-year program. Okay. That's why it's given a uh, chance, opportunity, allowance to work mm -hmm. in the field of medicine in our country. Okay. Uh, do they need to sit for exam uh, forget the, after the graduation? Now in other countries we have to go and uh, sit for the exam. Even in Sri Lanka we have to write the exam. Uh, so in Armenia do we have to? Formally yes, but actually their graduation exam 
which is a state exam because of where state university so it's the same exam that they are giving so they are giving exam once at the end of their six-year education they are giving a state exam and which provides them a diploma and also a license for working in a specific right. uh, fields. Okay. Then they need to go for a residency to work in a hospital as, uh, for the uh, other uh, specialty. Right. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you.